Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve an equation involving a square root and I'm going to go through the steps to show you how to do that. So the question we're going to be solving is a pretty simple one, is to solve and then we have the square root of x plus 10 minus 4 equals x. Okay, and that's what we're going to be solving in this particular problem. So solution. So whenever you have an equation with a square root like this, what you want to do is you want to isolate the term that has the square roots. We want to isolate this right here. So we have the square root of x plus 10 minus 4. So because the 4 is being subtracted, in order to get rid of it, what we do is we add 4 to both sides. So we can indicate that several ways. Uh, I like to just do this, plus 4, plus 4, just like a like, light slash there. So we can still see the original equation. And we end up with, on the left hand side, the square root of x plus 10. And then here we have, this is gone, so it's 0 equals x plus 4. So now we've isolated the square root, it's on one side by itself. So now what we can do is we can eliminate the square root. And we can do that by squaring both sides of this equation. So that's going to give us uh, here just x plus 10. And then here we can multiply this out. Uh, there's a weird shadow here. Let me see if I can, if I can fix that for us. Uh, there we go with the light I have in the background. That's a little bit better. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, good stuff. So still some shadows there, but that's okay. x plus 10 equals, and then there's a couple ways to do this. Um, I like to use a formula. You square the first one, multiply these and double them. So uh, 4x times two is 8x. And then you square the last term so you get 16. And that formula, if you're curious, says if you have a plus b, quantity squared, you square the first one, you put a plus sign, you multiply these and put a two, so you double it, and then plus the last one squared. Super powerful formula that you use a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of all this stuff here. So I'm gonna subtract x, subtract 10 from both sides. So if zero equals x squared, 8x minus x is 7x, so plus 7x, and then we have a plus six. I'm gonna write it again, but with this on the left-hand side, so x squared, plus 7x, plus 6 equals 0. I'm really going to have to fix uh, these shadows for my next video. It's like a shadow math. Um, here, this factors, it's x plus 1, x plus 6. The product equal to 0, so you set each factor equal to 0. So you get x plus 1 equals 0, or x plus 6 equals 0. Right, I'm going to try to uh, fix that shadow problem. I'm going to try this, see if this makes it a little bit darker now but I don't know if we'll still get a shadow here. Yeah, shadows are a little bit better, not as bright, a little bit easier to see. So we have x equals negative one, and then here we have x equals negative six. Now, we need to go back to the original equation and check these answers, okay? Very, very important. Um, so the original equation was the square root of x plus 10. Yeah, that's better. It's easier for me to see now too. I, uh, I had a window open and the sun was just shining through and um, nothing wrong with sun but when it when it blinds the the camera I think this is a little bit better still have some shadows but it's not uh, overpowering all right so we're gonna check negative one so check negative one and so we're just gonna put a negative one everywhere you see an X so negative one plus ten and then minus four equals negative one, just like that. Okay, so negative one plus 10 is nine. The square root of nine is three. Minus four equals negative one. Negative one equals negative one. That's a true statement, so negative one is one of the solutions. Now if we check negative six, again, we're just gonna put a negative six everywhere we see an x. I'm gonna zoom in here just to make sure you can see. So that'll be the square root of negative six plus 10 minus four equals negative six. So negative six plus 10 is four, square root of four, minus four equals negative six. Okay, so then here we have um, two minus four equals negative six. We have negative two equals negative six. That is not true, so this is not a solution. This is called 
uh, an extraneous solution. Okay, it's called an extraneous solution. Um, and so uh, it's an answer that you would get from the equation that is not actually a solution. So yeah, that's it. I hope it's been helpful. Hopefully you've learned some mathematics. Subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Check out my courses. Uh, they're on Udemy, but use my links, mathsorcerer.com or, or, or in the description of this video or from my website. Check out my eBay store. Sometimes I have uh, some books uh, for sale. I have thousands of books and every once in a while I'll let a few go. So check out my eBay store. Link is in the description. Keep doing mathematics. Take care.